This park hasn't changed much over the years, but we know one thing now. It's going to be getting a $27 million facelift. This didn't end the way County Executive George Latimer wanted. I didn't like the idea of, uh, of assigning the park to any private entity, and I still generally believe that. I think that we should manage county assets. But a judge said no, that the 30-year deal his predecessor Rob Astorino made with Standard Amusements must be honored and couldn't be altered much. Latimer says the deal just approved by legislators is better than the original contract, though, that it now clearly lays out expectations standard must live up to the estimates of what the uh, what the uh, amounts of money needed to make this deal work at the beginning. Uh, in my judgment, were not realistic. They're now realistic in this deal. Standard amusements must invest $27 million in improving the park. This could mean new or improved rides and more food options. We know their plans include a demolition and remodel of the Tiki Bar on park grounds. We don't know if the price you pay to get into the park will change. People we spoke to think this could be a new positive beginning for Playland. If it's a private company, maybe there's a little bit more money to invest in rehabilitating the old carousel and other rides that might need some um, improvements. I'm an attorney. If the contract's written properly, it'll be fine. This season, the county will be managing the park. But come 2022, Standard Amusements is taking the reins. In Rise, Samantha Crawford. News 12.